good morning in this video we are going to discuss about friction a very important topic in engineering mechanics actually we are going to discuss under three topics first one is the definition and the corresponding formula second the merits and demerits of friction that one is the ways of reducing the friction now let us go to the definition it is a reactive force that prevents the movement of an object due to the following adhesions roughness and deformation there are three things that should be noted in friction first one is it is a reactive force reactive force means it will come into play whenever there is an active force the best example for active force is a weight and the best example of reactive force is a normal reaction okay that means whenever there is a weight the normal reaction will come into play similarly in this case when the object is uh, moved by a active force the friction will come into play so this is the first topic first important thing second thing is that it prevents the movement of an object it act, it actually acts in the opposite direction of the applied force this is the second thing third thing is that it is a surface force it develops at the contact point between two surfaces due to the following reasons first one is adhesions adhesion means whenever the adhesion means whenever uh, two different materials are in contact the molecules of two different materials are attracting with each other thereby that develops uh, a electromagnetic force that prevents the movement of one object with respect to another one so this is the uh, this is called adhesion then the second one is roughness we all know that every product is being manufactured by some process and at the microscopic level you could able to see the roughness of the, the roughness at the surfaces so that roughness are the projections that prevents the movement of one surface over the another surface then third one is the deformation it's nothing but when a hard object is placed over a soft material there will be a deformation and that prevents the movement of one object over the another one so these are the three reasons uh, that develops at the contact point that prevents the movement of uh, one object over the another one now consider a mass m which is being placed on a surface now this is the free body diagram for that surface now the mass is converted into weight which is being always acting in the down downward direction and uh, the weight be the weight is balanced by the normal reaction by the surface so here is the normal reaction which is the which has the notation of n now this object is being moved by a force which is being applied at here so this is that force this is a active force and the surface because of this irregularities uh, it tries to stop that movement okay by the friction force okay here the friction is uh, denoted by small f and the applied force is taken as f now if you look closely this weight as well as this applied force are the active forces and uh, the friction as well as the normal reaction are the reactive forces now let us go to the uh, formula according to the friction experiment it is proved that the friction force is directly proportional to the normal reaction now to convert this proportionality sign into equality sign i am going to introduce a variable called mu now this uh, mu is called coefficient of friction that varies from 0 to 1 if there is no friction then the friction value will be 0 and if there is friction then you have some value between 0 to 1 if it is 1 the coefficient of friction is 1 then the friction for this case almost equal to the weight of this object it will be higher in order so this is what is known as the friction now the second topic is the merits of uh, merits and demerits of the friction though friction is the opposing force but it helps in uh, many ways in our life now, I have highlighted five important topics. The first one is walking. Really, when we walk, uh, there should be grip between our feet and the floor. 
and that greatness is given by the friction motor so this is what is here it is written otherwise we have zp now the next one is writing okay friction helps us to hold any object pen or pencil or anything so in that way friction helps us now the next one is driving okay when you uh, have friction between your tire and the road only then you can able to drive your vehicle safely then braking and suppose if you want to stop your vehicle there friction come into play to stop the vehicle okay so the, uh, this what here also it is written now the last one is heating yes when we rub our hands together we feel heat on our hand okay in the same way when you uh, rub the match stick on the match box it will get lightened with the help of friction only the next one is here demerits it has many demerits first one is it causes wear and tear okay so wear and tear one of the disadvantages and the friction plays a major role in it then second one is it reduces the efficiency efficiency is nothing but output by input and it will be reduced when you have friction then it creates a noise definitely uh, friction plays a important role in creating the noise in the parts then it, cre it creates uh, energy loss definitely as i told the uh, efficiency is nothing but output by input when you have constant output we have to increase the input okay so that there it creates some energy loss then uh, it consumes our money ultimately whenever there is a friction you know that it consumes money also that is an important thing so these are the things related to demerits of uh, friction then the third uh, topic is how uh, to reduce friction there are three common ways to reduce the friction first one is uh, lubrication lubrication i think everyone knows about uh, lubricating oil is being used in vehicle so it prevents the friction that's very important second one is uh, when you go for better surface finish uh, by many uh, sophisticated process now and uh, you can able to avoid the friction then third one is reducing the contact between the two surfaces this is a very important one i think everyone sees in a cinema that the hero will stand in between two walls by having one leg on the one wall and another leg on the other wall okay um, he is uh, he is able to stand because he pushes the wall okay now the wall will give him a reaction force reaction force and uh, it is directly proportional to the amount of force is being applied by the hero on the wall now there is a friction because there will always be a roughness between the uh, food and the wall so that develops a friction that prevents the hero from falling okay so uh, contact plays a very important role in the case of friction so when we uh, reduce the contact between two surfaces we can able to avoid the friction also so these are the uh, things related to ways of reducing friction so that's all about this today video uh, we have discussed about um, uh, three important topics first one is the definition and its formula this is the formula very important formula then the merits and the demerits of uh, friction then again the last one is how to reduce the friction thank you we will meet in the next video where we go, where we are going to see the another important thing in friction